You love your football. You <laughs> we have got a name storm system heading our way. Oh. To, I know, tomorrow, Storm Eric. Now, it has. Eric. Uh, Eric, with a K, no less. Fancy. Um, <laughs> you don't look very impressed it by. It's strong, does it? No, and to be honest, I don't think it will be that strong. Not for us, anyway. It's been named it's really for uh, strong winds elsewhere, particularly across parts of uh, Ireland. But we will have a windy couple of days in store. And last night, of course, oh, was windy. windy as well, wasn't it? We, we got up to terrible. sort of 50 plus miles an hour in I places. Know, I was driving home in it. Oh, no, so was I. Um, you can see a few photos actually uh, from today. They bright. But going downhill, really, as we had uh, into tomorrow. Lovely viewers, as always. Yes, keep them coming in, meridianweathertv.com, or you can tweet me, of course, as well. Storm America. A windy couple of days in general, then, over the next two days, in particular, I think, into tomorrow afternoon. Unsettled in general, spells of rain, showers, there will be some brightness around, too. I think into the weekend, for example, where you dodge those showers, you will get some sunshine. But perhaps the best of it is into the beginning of next week. At the moment, then, we're watching Storm Eric approach. As I say, we're not seeing the worst of the weather associated with the storm system, but nonetheless, a windy couple of days in store, especially as this cold front comes through tomorrow afternoon. The risk of gales and land, perhaps severe gales onto the coast with gusts, say, 50 or 60 miles an hour for exposed locations. Through this evening, then, we're watching our cloud thicken, and it's getting thick enough to bring some outbreaks of rain. They come and go, really, through the course of the night. This southwesterly strengthening, the cloud and the wind, of course, stopping our temperatures falling away too far. So a frost-free look as we head into our Friday morning, but also rather a cloudy look with this uh, further rain coming and going through the course of the morning. This southwesterly then continues to strengthen, and then from, say, late afternoon, you can see the rain moving in behind me. That pushes its way across across us. That's the heaviest and most persistent of the rain and it's accompanied by the strongest of the winds as well. So not very nice driving conditions for the commute home tomorrow. Top temperatures, 9, 10 degrees, mild on the face of it, but of course not feeling great. Uh, these are our times of high water. So Sheerness there at 2.24 in the morning and 2.48 into the afternoon. A showery look into the weekend, windy on Saturday. We could see some more persistent rain, I think, into Saturday night. That should clear through. Further showers on Sunday, feeling a bit cooler. Bright, but after a cold and potentially frosty start on Monday.